Seven bodies have so far been counted, with many others injured after armed headsmen attacked a Baginovka community uh, housing internally displaced persons uh, camp in Makodi local government area of Benue State. Governor Samuel Otom, while addressing angry youth who protested and blocked the Makodi Lafia Road with the dead bodies, called on President Muhammad Buhari to live up to his responsibility of protecting uh, Nigerians. He described the attack on the IDP cap as inhuman, barbaric, and unacceptable. The president must do the needful. And I want to suggest that immediately let there be a security summit. I am aware that in Niger, in Zamfara, all over the country, north east, north west, north central, south east, south south, south uh, 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 west, all the places, this kind of public act is being taken by the same foreigners. And people are afraid to, to, to say it. And they give them a name bandit. They are not bandit, they are full of This was that came here. Look at the best with that with they were seeing and they were speaking that language. And they came and insisted that they must take government to proscribe or repeal the uh, uh, prohibition of open prison act. That will not happen. It is not my making, is the people of Benway State that told me to do that law. I didn't sit on my own and did any law. And so no one should try and make anything. You know? So this is sad. This is sad. This is sad. My heart bleeds. And President Buhari must arise to his responsibility. But this morning, uh, I was walking with the news that uh, the Flani headmen have uh, killed so many people in this community. And this is not the only community um, presiding over. They were recently, just about uh, uh, five days ago, they killed so many within the same community. And they have been killing, there have been so many killings, and uh, we, as a community, we say this should be the last killing. Otherwise, we 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 we, we, amount, we, we go to self help. This is a background. And yesterday night they called us that uh, the flight people have invaded. My sister is here. Why I was in a, in a gun. This didn't happen exactly some few minutes to 12. Before the information reached the community, it was already 12 o'clock. So it is sad. And what, I, what to me, what I want to tell the, the president is that he should arise as how the governor is telling him. That he should arise his responsibility. This is Sadoni. We are not happy any longer. Like, for instance, I would I, I would like to blame our, our governor in some extent that he has collected our weapons. He has collected our weapons since the history of the team nations. No, no tribe and nobody has ever defeated the team people. But because the governor has collected our weapons, now we are helpless. They say that we should that we should submit our arms. We have submit our arms. And now the Fulanese, they are attacking us. We don't have any other thing to do. There's no there's there anybody that move with court that they should arrest him. Mr. President. We want justice. Justice must prevail. We want you to allow us to use AK-47, the same way the Fulanis are using. Yes. Yesterday we saw them with our bare We saw them with our eyes. They were speaking Fulanis, not armed bandit. It was Fulanis we saw them. They came and attacked this village. They killed more than 20 people. Their aim was to attack the IDP camp. But because of the neighboring villages, they killed and some people with injured to others. Some are at the hospital right now. Mr. President, if you if you know you are in power, if you know you are the president of this country, we voted for you. And you must rise and do something. Yes, we'll do our best. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.